Hello Internet, welcome to Doing It Is channel. JavaScript lesson 40 is going to be about DOM traversal. So DOM traversal is, is moving around the DOM tree. So the web browser creates a DOM tree relevant to a particular web page that is being loaded. So we will learn how to move around in that document tree. So we will be doing that using child nodes to go into the children of a particular element, children, next sibling, next element sibling, previous sibling, and previous element sibling, and parent node. These are the properties that we are going to use in order to travel through the document. So right now, I have created this table that has a, tab a table that has a table row and table column. And I have given the ID of element to the table column. And I have selected that in my JavaScript. So document.get element by ID and I have passed the element ID. So we have this element and I have given this element a style of background color red. So if you and um, let's console this element first um, and look at its child notes. Okay, so before checking that out, let's take a look at our HTML page and find out what are the child nodes are going to be. So it's going to, uh, it shows that we have a span tag and in the inside that we have text too. So we should see the span tag as a child node. So let's check that out. Aha, but it shows text, then span, then text. That's what it shows. Why is this? That is because child nodes give us not only the elements, child elements, it also give us the text. So if you take a look at this, we have, if you put these um, into one line, one line, then we will get only the span. But if we hit, hit enter here and here, the child nodes are going to be this enter sign then this span, then again this end sign that we have put here. That's why we get three child nodes, not only one. So child nodes gives us not only the elements, child elements, it also gives us the text. So refresh and we see a text span text. So, But if you want to get only the elements, there's a simple property that we can use. That is the children property. So let's go and change this to children. And we get only the span, even though we have this space uh, between these two elements, the TD and the span. So the children gives us that. So what we can do is let's do something fun. So I want this element and its child, and I want to change style of it. Background color, and I want to give it the color of green. So the span should be green. Background color green. Uncaught type it. Cannot set property background color of undefined. Okay, so we have element and we have a child and we are setting the background color of that. Hmm. Okay, again let's get rid of this. And get what we have here span oh span of course we have we have to select this is a node list we have to select the span 0 to 11 children we want the 0 1 and we want style property and background color of green I hope you understood this so we get green so what happened was children is going to give a node list. So we have to select a particular node. That's why we put the zero, L, zero here. So we are selecting the first span and then having the style background color of green. Okay. So that is children. Next, we are moving on to next sibling. So what is the next sibling? So here is the element that we have selected. 
this is next element next sibling is going to be this td so let's select that so element our next sibling dot our next sibling let's take a look at that and we get we get a text that is this element's next sibling is going to be the end key right here that you can't see but there is a end key that's why line break so if you want to get the next element sibling so what we want to do is we want to get the next element sibling and refresh we get the td and of course that returns and in the td we can set the style background color to some other color see, see, see. we get okay so we have changed the color of this so this is sick uh, this is the next sibling so if you want to do this to the previous sibling it's easy to do previous element sibling and this color will be let's make it a little bit darker five, five, five. And refresh and we get the previous element sibling so that is how we go next and previous and finally we are doing this to the parent node parent node so if we take a look at the HTML we have this TD this is our object that we have selected and the parent should be this TR okay Okay, let's we get the TR okay so that's why the complete row the background color of the complete row got uh, darker so if you want to do this if you want to go to the parent node and select the sibling of it next sibling element so I'm gonna select go to the parent node next go to the next element sibling and change the background color so this background color of this row is going to change there you go so now you know how to traverse up a documentary sideways and down so thanks for watching do stay tuned do subscribe do hit the like button do share and have fun